the subject matter and the subject matter possibilities for holography are, is phenomenal. It's endless and it's also more open and there's more open-endedness to this than, than a lot of conventional mediums, particularly conventional mediums of photography. And that if you think about the idea about recording imagery, you can record images. But not only can you record images, but you can do things that can happen in nature. You can have an image within an image. It, you know, it's, it's, it's soup, double exposures of two images at the same time. You can have images that as you interact, the image comes and goes. It moves and changes. You can move into the idea of that the object or the subject matter in a hologram can be pure wavefronts, light itself. That's what like these lenses and these mandalas are doing. I'm working with just the light itself and I'm blending and combining it together. And it's a whole different way of dealing with it because you have to throw out all of that conventional understanding about painting and pigment mixing because this is additive color, this is additive light mixing. And what you do is, is, and this is the purest that I have found because the lights and the colors coming out of these holograms is pure, pure spectral colors. It's, it's like having a brand new palette of colors to work with. The thing that I came across for me was that this is a direct experience here. It's devoid from a representation of some symbolic meaning that I can see. This thing is happening right now in front of me. It's moving light, manipulating light. All of a sudden the hologram becomes, in a sense, uh, an active or real-time paintbrush. The hologram is manipulating the light. You do not have to conceive of holography as a recording of reality, a rec reconstruction of a wave front of an object. Holography is simply a means of recording light and recording information as light and beginning to deal with it. The, the thing to do is to find some meaning in the way the light works.